I'm sure you've heard the terms DevOps, MLOps, AIOps, maybe even data ops recently. And if you're a little confused about that, I'm gonna give you my very fast, very opinionated breakdown. Uh, so hypothetically, let's say we're building a new application, Tinder for dogs. We get version one up, and that was done thanks to developers, the dev part of DevOps. These people write code and they're paid to ship it. So their idea is let's build features, let's get this code out there. Now, once we've got our app up, we've got users and we want a person or people, a team to maintain the stability of the application that keep the operate. That's the operations team or focus. Could be one person, let's move, we'll, we won't get bogged down there. So we build version one, development, there, we're incentivizing these developers, ship stuff, burn down story points, whatever you want. And then we have an operations team, keep the application up and running, keep the users happy. And then as we build V2 of this, let's say we add in cats to our, now it's Tinder for dogs and cats. We give requirements to the developers. They want to build stuff. But for the operations team, this introduces risk. Every new feature means, hey, you could break something that exists. You could make users unhappy. Developers like, to a certain extent, we don't care. We're paid to build things. Operations team is like, well, we may need new features, but we don't care. We're paid to keep things stable. So it creates this tension. And again, this could be just one person doing both things. It could be two different teams. It could be multiple teams. But this is the concept of DevOps is you've got developers who need to build stuff because that's how they get paid, we'll say, and operations people who need to keep things stable. And you, at the, as a business, of course, you need both. We need new features to help users and we need stability to help users as well. So this idea is, well, can we build software, at least with DevOps, in a way that takes into account the fact that we need to keep things stable, that we want to minimize stuff that breaks, which maybe sounds obvious, but was not how a lot of software was built in practice. So just to recap again, for DevOps, the core concept here is we've got developers, they want to build stuff, we've got operations, they want to keep things stable, that creates a tension. And so there are practices or ideas, tools, CICD, microservices, infrastructure as code, whatever you want, right? Monitoring to help say, when we build new things, can we make sure it doesn't break anything? You know, more or less, a very imperfect definition, but hopefully get the idea. So with that then, okay, well, so if that's DevOps, what's an ML ops or an AI ops or data ops? It's the exact same idea. So we can just wipe this away and we can put in here data, ML, AI, whatever you want, and say we're talking about someone ML ops, well, what we mean now is we have a machine learning engineer or a data scientist who instead of just writing code to build a software application is writing code to build a machine learning model. And then the same idea occurs. We need to get this model deployed. The data scientist, ML engineer wants to build something, but we need to keep things stable on the ops side for those end users or consumers of the machine learning model. Same thing for a data engineering pipeline, data ops or you know, whatever an AI ops would be as distinct from ML ops. I don't know, that's beyond my pay grade. But the point being that on the left-hand side of the equation, we got people building stuff. On the right-hand side of the equation, we got people keeping things stable. And this has created a whole suite of practices and tools to support this concept so that we can build things in a smart way.